Okay, here we're gonna run a tutorial on how to implement your transitions within your clip. I wanna actually do this one before we get into the music tutorial. And um, it's pretty much easy. So what I wanna do, I wanna actually scroll down to a portion of, mm, a portion of the clip that I really want to get rid of and just join up the two more interesting parts. So here we have the first kill a good feature then we have the kill confirm and then what I want to do I want to actually stop there um, just scroll back a little bit okay so what I want to do I want to find a point where the kill confirm where the kill confirmed text has disappeared so what I want to do I want to edit that I want to split the clip it's gonna ask me to firm it up and I firmed it up so now what I want to do I want to actually scroll into this clip where all of this where I'm just wondering about there's no action I'm just wondering 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 moving up to my next point which where you can recognize this is the part where I had my fail moment so what I want to do now I want to actually scroll it back a little bit to around here Oops. Okay. to around here and then split the clip again so he's gonna ask me to firm it up I'm gonna split it so all of this is rendered useless now because there's no action to take any interest. So I'm gonna delete that. It's gonna ask me to firm it up and I'm firming it up and I've gotten rid of that. So now what you find is that from this point, from the first kill text, that's gonna disappear now and also the kill confirmed, it will snap straight into that section there, to my fail section. Now what you notice at this point is that the fail sticker overlay that I put previously is not there anymore but not to worry because I've saved the project file I know exactly what I need to do to replace it and that's what you've got to kind of do to alleviate the, un the lack of the undo function that Share Factory has so once you know what was in the original clip and it's not too much of a labor to do then you just you know you just do it and with practice you know exactly what you need to do for next time so let's get back into that okay so we're gonna jog it a little bit um all right just to this part where he's, where he's got the bullet go back to the originating commands i want to add an effects add the fail sticker transform it was there opacity down to 65 as it was before Bring it right down. and always press X to, to um, confirm it if you press the circle the back button it will just revert to its default setting so okay and that's what I need right there and there you have it okay so nothing's really changed from there it's only because of the fact that the clip was split that it renders the effect null and void so that's what you got to kind of remember when you're splitting clips um okay so now what i want to do is go back to the kill confirm section here between there and the next clip and as you can see it looks pretty jumpy from that point to that point I mean, you know, you can leave it as it is if you like, but if you want a smooth transition from one to the other, then all you have to do at that point is to add a transition. And you have various types of transitions. You have dissolves, you have um, wipes, and you have cinematic. And as with your clips, all you need to do is press R2 to preview them. Do that one, that one that one and so on and so forth but because my theme is the PlayStation 4 theme I just want to use um, the button icons to best effect and out of all these I would choose this one because it's pretty short so I'm gonna pick that and it will automatically put the transition at the end part now another thing you have to bear in mind as well is that where the transition ends is where you want the action to start from. 
so you got to give allowances for like around a second or a second of a second and a half of waste footage if you like to go before the clip you want to show because at this point right here obviously the transition will have covered the entire clip if you like the entire grid of the clip so in that time and in that position you know you just got to make sure you're covering footage that you don't really want to see or you can afford not to be seen and then once the transition is wiped then it starts where you want it to start and that's all you have to consider the end part of the last clip it doesn't really matter too tough because in the midst of where you want the transition to be is where the transition is going to appear so it's not so much the ending of the last clip it's actually the beginning of the next clip where you need to have your timing kind of pat down you know in order to give a clean wipe if you like okay so let's just scroll back jump back kill graphic you've got the transition and it just moves neatly then you've got the fail and that's more or less that you know so that's how you more or less utilize your transitions within your clip and there are so many to choose from um, and that's more or less the principle of adding your transitions to the clips to join both different clips if you like <laughs>